So, like, I want to play all the, the Operation Rainfall games. I do. But, like, Xenoblade's the easiest one to get your hands on. Last Story's a bit harder to get your hands on. I mean, I have a copy of it. But Pandora's Tower's, like, next to impossible these days. A, a Wii copy of Xenoblade Chronicle goes for, like, a hundred bucks casually. And, like, Pandora's Tower, if you really want a copy, can be between, like, 80 and $200. So, this was during a period of time where I was pirating, like, every single Wii game possible. So that's why I have a copy of this game, is because I have a copy of this game. Yeah, you're right, it is. It's on the Switch. I have a... Yeah, you can emulate it. Uh, the problem with emulating Wii games is that, like, Dolphin's a great emulator. And I love Dolphin, but you need a an IR controller for it in order for the Wii Remote to even attach to it. And then you need a Wii remote that actually can talk to Bluetooth. So you either need a Bluetooth to, uh, a Bluetooth interpreter for your computer that can then talk via USB. So your Wii remote can talk to your USB and actually recognize what 3D space is. Or you need a GameCube controller that can somehow recognize where it is in 3D space. Can you just emulate? I heard you allegedly do that. Yeah, you can emulate emulate these games. It's not hard. Um, like the Wii is ser seriously not hard to emulate. Um, the controller that you would need to use to do it, though, I think like um, the Bluetooth interpreter for the computer is like twenty bucks. But it's just one more piece of hardware that you have to add in. And you have to set it up in such a way that a Wii Remote can also recognize it, which means you have to tag a Wii Remote to it. Which, I'm not sure how you would do that, but that's more because I honestly don't know how you would do that than it is anything else. And that might also be I'm lazy and just refuse to learn. Which does happen. I'm not immune from it. There's plenty of stuff that I'm like, oh, it's really interesting. I'm curious about that. I don't want to learn it, though. These are level 13. How's your, how's your, uh, how's your bones? Yes, I learned Japanese so I could watch anime without subtitles. It's like one of those skills you just kind of pick up by watching enough anime. It's like, oh yeah, that's a thing. It's not useful in nine time, nine out of ten situations. It's only useful if you're talking about anime or like have a really basic conversation. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not like. Oh, let me go to a professor and talk to them about it. That's like Sea Blue learning Japanese. It's like, okay. He learned Japanese so he could watch one show 
without subtitles. It's fair enough. I get why you did it. It doesn't really accomplish anything to do it, though. Except for, you know, sounding really cool to someone who doesn't understand the point behind it. He shows up every once in a while. I had to take off the I had to take that break from streaming, so he's been busy, I'm sure. I talked to him a little while ago actually. I say a little while ago, like a month ago I talked to him. This game is so much exploring. So one of my coworkers sometimes watches my streams and was asking about Sea Blue. He was just curious. He was like, "Oh yeah, that Sea Blue guy." And how when he cut his hand, like Sea Blue is like, "Uh, I don't want to talk about this. This makes me really uncomfortable." Exploring is half the fun in a game that you don't enjoy. Paris is a funny child. What are Paris and Ash up to? What are Paris and Ash up to? Well, Paris can't sleep. I know that, but he could be up to something other than what drowning his worries in your stream. No, no, that's all he ever does. He's just drowning his worries in my stream. We're, we're best friends, me and him. We talk about everything. We go and get our nails done every once in a while. You know. As besties do. You're eating dinner. What are you eating? What? And is it a weird potato thing that your mother made without a recipe and kept asking you about? Is it a bloomin' onion? I feel like every time that she says she's getting dinner, I'm going to have to ask her if it's a bloomin' onion. Beefaroni. Yes. Definitely getting an Asta vibe right now. I'm not a child, I'm a toddler. Get it right. That can drive, and yeah, that explains most adults. Oh, hi there! Hi, hi, hi. You're level 81! No! Dun, dun, okay. Oh! Where'd you come from? You weren't there before. I would have noticed you. Bye, buddy. He's he's territorial. So his name says. Simply, simply don't die. Easy peasy. Yeah, that's the easy part. Don't die. You want to go to Dairy Queen and get um, a, bl a blizzard? Kinda. I kinda want a blizzard. Cause I want a blizzard. My, my video game logic has failed. There was no secret behind the waterfall. We end up getting takeout or our rare treat of takeaway now. Ah, yes. There must be a good takeaway place near you then if it's a rare treat. I suddenly want takeout. I don't know why. Like if everyone said just, just, 
We did have a takeout. It was take. We had takeout the past couple of days. We need to stop. We need to stop. We had Burger King, and then we had Water Burger a couple days ago. We had Taco Bell. Yes, they killed me last time. If I just keep running, they can't kill me. No, is that how that works? Stop chasing me! Okay, so I can't go down there to get what I needed from there yet. Okay, I guess I should just go for the flag, or I'm going to have to look at the area map. Like, this area's huge. And this is just the bottom layer that we're looking at now. How's the cat? She's still alive as far as Jay knows. I see she's not going to check on her. She's asleep. She was asleep the last time I saw her. Paris, how's your sister doing? He's over there. Gore. First name Al. She's alive, but I'm not checking. <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> He's over there. He's fine. He's being territorial in a different place. They're just shouting back and forth. That's all I can hear. What's up, Chris? Ah, oh, yes, my favorite noise. Ah. The sound of a battle well fought. Doesn't doesn't really matter, does it? Got what we needed. He's over. Shit, where is he? Fuck, I don't know. Oh, way over there. Good. That's the blade above us. That I'm not sure is stabbed into us or stabbed into them. That's their sword. So... I guess it's... Hi. Hey, look. <laughs> it's That's the sword! I hate when my sword's... <laughs> Oh my god, I can just... <laughs> okay, everyone, the sword's on an adventure today. <laughs> really 
<laughs> you ever feel like you're playing the Matrix wrong? <laughs> so, this is free cam. This is all the free cam that you get. Nope. Nope. Well, oh. something happened. back. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Probably should go to that little camp over there with the fire. Oh. It's a machine. There is a game on the Wii that I do want to play, and I've never been able to finish it. And it makes me sad I'm able to finish it. It's called uh, Fragile Tales from the Moon or something like that. So what has everybody been up to? Oh. We're gonna watch the child die today. <laughs> yeah, I know, probably never heard of it, honestly. What'd she say? What has everyone been up to? You talked behind the mic. I talked to the side of the mic. Not the side of the mic. Let's search everywhere around here where there's water. Watching, um, this. What is it called? Fair, uh, fragile. A fragile Moon Genshin Impact. Uh, fragile Dreams, Feral Ruins of the Moon. That's what it's called. It was released in 2009 and published in North America in 2010 by Exceed. Yeah, I've always I've always wanted to finish this game and I get like right up to the end and I can't get myself to finish it. Why not? Fragile Dreams, Farewell Ruins of the Moon. Yeah, I get it right up to the end of it. I'm just like, eh. Nah, I can't make myself do it. Hot Taro. Mimi, what games have you been playing recently? Ash, what about you? I know what Parrish has been playing recently. OMG, the beef in this satay is so tender. So... So what you're saying is you need to swipe right on it? Paris has been playing with my feelings. That's what it is. That's what game he's been playing. No, no, that, that's normal for you to play with my feelings. I'm used to that. Yes, it was. What's the one enemy around here? That thing? Genshin, Pokemon Story of Seasons, Code Vein, Seven Days. Is Code Vein any good? I thought about buying that game, and I just... I don't know if I should or not. Slow down, cowboy. Got a vision from a thing. I need moth crawlers in the future. Yes, it's amazing. Is it a JRPG or something? My god. I need this other one. 
Sour gooseberries. This game's just like, hey, you might do this quest later. I'm getting a vision right now. Paris is not going to sleep anytime soon. Paris, you are not going to sleep anytime soon. I'm telling you that now as a friend. And you're going to hike on a six minute nap. What level is this guy? 32? I could probably take him, but I'm not that stupid. I'm not that stupid to take on a level 32. I probably could, honestly. I'm not going to, but I probably could. I dare you? No. I'm not that... I dare you. I'm not that stupid to fight. Yes, I will come back and fight it at some point. Got it. Good. Let's get out of here. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. No. Okay, I gotta go south. God, how large is this area? Every time I play this game, I always kind of forget, like, what this game was known for. Which was just how large the game world was. All this game is famous for. The world is huge that you play in. Defeat White Eduardo. <laughs> yes, I shall defeat White Eduardo. Violent Adante. What has been Mo Moon Man been playing recently, Chris? What have you been playing on your stream? Okay, fine. I guess I can't go any further. That's not Connie Six, so. Am I strange for putting all the beef out of the saute and just eating the veggies so I can eat them on the rice instead? I mean, you do you. I don't I don't think I've ever had saute. I can say for certain I've never had it. So I do not have an opinion. Beef and rice are a good combo, are they? It's almost like there's an entire cultural dish for that. There's so much running in this game, oh my god. Oh. You just want to go to like the next section and it's like nah 
You gotta, like, kill yourself just running over there. Trust me, I'm Mexican-ish. Paris, what have I told you? I didn't know how to fold a burrito correctly. I've never been able to fold a burrito correctly. That's not just embarrassing, it's also true. I've never had a burrito. Ash, that's because you're not a true Australian. You haven't even had a blooming onion. Not even a true Australian. Haven't had a blooming onion. Shockingly, you haven't had a burrito either. And you call yourself Australian. Imagine if you will, Ash, you take beans and rice and you put them inside of a flour tortilla, which is basically just bread, and you roll that shit up and you eat it. That's a basic burrito. If you want to make it more fancy, throw some tomatoes, some lettuce, some, some cheese... And that's a more a more exciting burrito. I am streaming. I can't stop talking. That's literally what I do. You get some cilantro. <laughs> you you eat it and confuse it for soap. I don't know what the change do. I don't care. I'm just... So let's talk about tacos. It's not Tuesday, so we can't talk about tacos. So at Jack in the Box, we got... Uh, what did you get, Jack in the Box? You got a burger, just a normal ass burger, didn't you? You got a salad? I got the sriracha burger. And you got the chicken tater melt, which was uh, interesting. What was in that thing, anyway? So it's a hash brown with chicken, a cheese, two different cheeses, ranch is what it's supposed to have. Paris has said I have to talk about burritos. He has redeemed points. I'm being threatened if I talk about burritos. I'm being threatened if I talk about burritos. <laughs> Never has there been a greater indignity in this world. Never. I win. I 
I'd like to point out that I did not redeem, that I did not refund those. That was Jay who <laughs> refunded those. It was not me. I will talk about burritos once she is asleep, which will be soon. As she eats my head and I can't see because her hair is in the way. What can we misinterpret the words, give me the gross things for? Okay, well, what can you misinterpret it as? Lots of shit. What, what is it actually? Uh, dark chocolate Reese's. So Jay and her infinite wisdom trying to take care of me bought me Reese's, and because I love Reese's. And, uh... She got the variety pack that had white chocolate, regular, and dark chocolate. And I absolutely hate dark chocolate. But Jay did not read the package. And now she is forced to eat. And, and Jay is now forced to eat the dark chocolate because I absolutely hate dark chocolate. I don't like my coworkers that much. Yeah, you're right. You love me. The dark chocolate ones? Probably would be good. That's good. Jay can come eat with me and we can get some ice, good ice cream. Jay couldn't make you ice cream. That is her job. She makes ice cream for a job. So Paris and I are going to go burritos, and you and Ash are going to go get ice cream? I... We're going to go get Mexican food in Australia somehow. <laughs> We're all going to go see Ash. Jay can come. I want ice cream. Is that what it is? <laughs> ice cream was the deciding factor on your friendship. I see. That's fair enough. I understand. Can these guys follow me? Oh yeah, they can. Keep running. I like how that was the deciding factor whether Paris is friends with you or not. Is can you get me ice cream? And how quickly can you get me this ice cream? I've known how to swim for a while now. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. There's a really good place near me that makes amazing ice cream and sorbet. Yeah, I could do both of those things. There's a... I don't know if it's a franchise location. There's a place near here that makes Froyo yogurt. And it's done by weight is how she prices it. But, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the place that's really Christian-y outside. In, Hobby Lobby? No, not Hoblob. It's close to Hoblob. You're close to but, uh, it's a really christian -y place. When you look at it. Um... And you can get whatever ingredients you want on your ice cream slash yogurt slash froyo, whatever you're getting. And then you uh, pay by weight. No, not green spins. I know where that is, and it's nowhere near here. That one, yes, that one. Top one. Yeah. You go in there, and there's Bible verses everywhere. What part of you go in there and there's Bible verses everywhere? You should go there. Go work there. I don't know if they're a franchise location or that's just the only one. So are they a 
a franchise location? The num given the tens of thousands there. Cause if it's only one location, I won't give it away. I just clicked on the menu and it's like own a store. <laughs> so the place is called Tweet Frog. I won't say a place if it's the only location of it, but if it's like tens of thousands of them apparently, I just learned there's at least thirty six thousand of them. That could still necessitate 36,000 of them. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the, their franchise. Yeah, okay, I can see that, yeah. There's one over there, and there's one down there. Yeah, so sweet frogs. I've been there one time. He's a level 16. I could fight him. Yeah, but this guy is at least my level. The other guy was level 32. He's double my level. Tell you in a minute. I don't have time to talk. Heart is healing, yes. Kind of. I am bait. No, I died, and it didn't care after that point. Apparently, I started Valley on the PlayStation Go to got to update yesterday. I wonder what it was. It was probably the 1.5 update that gives you the um, the new island. The beach thing. The beach thing. Look at how large this area is. Like, I haven't even explored, like, half of it. There's still an entire half that I haven't explored. Just running around this area just takes all your time. Oh, good. Good. I'm going to keep running. He's going to do 9,400 damage to me. No, he's not. Because I'm going to run away from him. OMG, I'm missing so much. Actually, uh, it's a new island that adds a bunch of new content that you learn a bunch about the world around Stardew Valley. No, I, that's my reaction. It looks good. 
Let's fight these guys, even though the kid's already gone and we could fucking run away too. There's a lot going on though, I'm not gonna lie. There we go. You never get to ride in this buggy. What's the worst game I've ever played? Well, the problem is if I if I played a game and, and I finished it, or I even like stayed with it long enough to consider it playing a game. I quit games pretty quickly if I don't like them.